Hello everyone, I'm just going to do a short tutorial on putting your files together uh, raw uh, that are spanning. Um, I see there's a lot of people having, still having problems with that. Um, the reason why you have spanning files is uh, on the 5D Mark II particularly is uh, they only write four gig files because it's a FAT32 system. Uh, just like the old Windows 98, way back then. Anyways, um, so it can only write four gigs at a time. And so when, when one's written that it makes a raw, uh, R double O. And so that's the next series of data. So it's in a binary format. So you have to put that binary format into one continuous file um, I use RAW to, to uh, Cinema DNG uh, version 1.30. Um, they're not going to be putting any more versions out until the new um, generation Magic Lantern um, file system is complete. And it's a, I think, an MV. Um, so it'll be more friendlier with professional workflows um, with metadata and such so that'll be really good so but uh, in the meantime uh, just I use this one and you can get it from Magic Lantern and uh, it's right here I have it on um, I referred it to another f person who's having issues and there again we're talking about this so this is the reason why I'm doing this with tutorial because Still, people are not um, understanding what's going on. So, I uh, hopefully this will clear it up. Anyway, so there's a link there, and if you go to, I'll just scroll down here. Magic Collection form, and uh, this is on page 57, and raw and the 5D Mark II, and if you just go back, it's in the main thread here, right? So it's usually up pretty top. There's me, Avengers City TV. So, yeah, you can get it there. Um, and then you can, uh, you know, uh, make your life a lot easier. Uh, and you can use cinnamon uh, DNGs if you like. And, uh, okay, so we'll just close this off. So all you have to do, really, it's the very, very easy, is just highlight your two files, your, your main file and your spanning file, drag and drop, there it is. So it says a plus one, so that's your one spanning file, and I recorded this in crop mode, um, 2048 by 930, and that's how many frames I did, just a short little test, uh, and 23.98 frames a second, um, NTSE. Okay, so now you can, you can do a couple things, uh, lower your white point, 16-bit linear. I mean, this is a 14-bit uh, file, but there's really no 14-bit. So it's either log 10-bit, uh, which I haven't tried yet, 12-bit uh, linear, which is more this the Cinema DNG uh, right out of the Black Magic camera, and the 16-bit is what I use. Um, normally, uh, I would be using a TIFF, um, but it, it's a 16-bit. Uh, also linear so that's why i chose 16-bit for my purposes um there we go so we convert and it'll do everything that i want it to do uh, oh yeah sorry you can change the path etc so yeah i like it it's awesome there we go there you go and there's the process and then there's what's happening it made its file so if you did have a different path you could put it wherever you want uh, for this for this purpose, I just left it in the uh, root of the file that the raw is in, and I'll just let, 
and then once it's done then I'll show you um, the files are basically the same as DNG except the header uh, has some things changed to to make it uh, readable in, in um, black magic resolve and um, and of course uh, by accident Funnel Cut Pro 10 um, I just I found that all by accident I was just looking at some files and, and such and all of a sudden this one DG I could see it is a cinema DG and I couldn't see any other uh, normal DGs the color of the camera okay so we're done now put that right there. there's our files Oh, 1,471 files. Then I'll import this into Final Cut and we will continue on. All right, I hope that uh, helped a little bit with people uh, with this problem. If you had a problem, if not, just a good refresher. And uh, happy shooting. <laughs>